Hello everybody, welcome back to a, another BGCS stream. We are day two into playoffs. It, it is me, Toxo, and I have Maisie as my co-host. How are you doing today, Maisie? Good. good afternoon, good afternoon. I am good. I'm very happy to be casting here. It is my first cast here and I'm, I'm excited to get it underway. So, I th I think that uh, let's jump right into it. What what do you think for predictions? Who who do you think is taking this, CK or Resurrection? Well, personally, I don't, I don't really know much, but I know that CK are coming off with a bit of a bit of a favourites to win this game, and I'm I'm all for favourites to win. So I think CK is going to take it with a sweep. What about you? Ah, uh, you know. After both of them coming off a 3-0 sweep yesterday, CK losing to Unseen 3-0, and Resurrection losing to Interstellar 3-0. I think if if CK played how they played against Unseen, even though they lost 3-0, the games are only about one goal difference each game. I, I think uh, Resurrection, uh, Unse uh, CK, I just went through three different teams, CK can take this, uh, I'm going to go 3-2 CK. But they have to play how they were playing yesterday. Yeah, okay. I mean, I'm hoping for a sweep, and you're hoping to hopefully get a CK 3 2. That's definitely, I mean, we've got the same winners, but different scorelines. So we're both hopeful on one team, and that's, that's all important. Teams seem to be ready. And without further ado, I think we can get underway. With yeah, this game. I, think, I think everybody ready. Let me just ask quickly. Yeah. All right. Let me uh, switch overlays. Let me off the rip. And uh, everybody's ready to go. Who are we playing? Killian, The Weekend, and Rex for CK. Um, CK don't have a GC. Oh no, Rex. Rex is GC. Oh, I was sorry, Rex. So Rex is their GC, so they're playing a different team than yesterday. And C and Resurrection, I think, are the same? Not really too sure. I didn't see who they played yesterday. Interesting indeed. I mean, you worried me there. If they didn't have a GC, they might have <laughs> struggled. But early start for the game. Some early pressure from CK as they wind with a shot just going wide. Wind has taken a couple shots now to no, to no luck, really, and... Maybe that's going to be a pattern. We see that's a lovely flick. It could be in, but it just sears wide off the net as pressure. CK is mounting. I wonder how Resurrection will, you know, how they will actually face this pressure. Because, you know, a minute in and they've not really left their half at all. Toxo, I mean, so far we've seen CK with a lot of dominance with pressure. But do you think this will affect how Resurrect will play at all? You know, C CK and Resurrection are a very pressure-heavy team. You know, when when they come into a game, they don't really like to sit in defense. So having both of these teams go against each other, considering they have kind of the same play style, is going to be interesting of whose defense can hold up the longest. Because once you have pressure, and I say this, CK gets scored on. As soon as we talk about pressure, you know, Lewis just comes out with a... Free goal, gets a nice pass to his teammate, gets a nice double tap off the side wall, and it's kind of hard to, for Killian to read that. So yeah, I mean, a very close shot off the back wall, and I mean, I would struggle to say that myself. It's a lovely shot, and it's well composed. Yeah, I also agree. You don't really expect a double tap from the side. Like, oh, what a fake from Lewis. Killian gets oh. flicked, and that is a Lewis 1-2 Double two goals back to back for Lewis. Oh my word! What a fake and a lovely flick! And you see the bump challenge coming out, and it's now not looking good. 2 0 in the game one. This could swing dominance to one team, and this could really put CK off in their first game. They definitely want to come swinging, they definitely need to try and find an answer. They just need to get their clinicality up, they just need to get that pressure back to where it is. Because, you know, Lewis is just coming out and swinging, being the front runner, being the attacker right now. Yeah, I, I think I think the issue for CK and uh, it's just 
they're better on attack. Their defense can get a little sloppy with those rotations. As you can see, they have great pressure and trying to make plays, and they almost make that work. They, they do have a little bit better pressure, but their defense, I will say, is worse than Resurrection. So they need to keep up pressure. They have to start going for these demos, which we didn't really see yesterday from any team as, as demos-wise. So, you know, they might be down in game two. Uh, game one, sorry, but they have over half the game. I, I do believe in the comeback. I mean, my prediction's running on a comeback, so yeah, I hope a comeback is possible. Hamish now to the back wall, gets cleared away, but it's Melty Crispy with a low shot, but it gets saved away by Rex now into the corner. Wind trying to get a 50 with Hamish, good 50, but Lewis there. Now Kyle with a touch, Melty Crispy to the back wall. Pressure is building. Resurrect with a bump, but it gets cleared away to the sidewall. Lewis there getting played over with a demo onto their third man. This could pose some trouble because not much boost in the corners. 100 boost just spawned on the right side. That's a lovely double from Rex as that's a demo. Lewis, I mean, must have the stream open. You said about demos and we're seeing some demos flying out now. Yeah, you know, I think just in his heart, he was like, maybe I should go to some demos. It opens up some free boosts for you. It messes up defensive rotations and offensive rotations. Because you're, you're just gone. There's nothing for you to do. you got to sit there, wait two, three seconds, collect some boosts, and uh, not really anything is going to happen. As we say this, CK are looking to get their first goal of this series. Tech doesn't really work too well there. It didn't really have a, someone up second as close as enough. Uh... Crispy does get a demo on CK to try to get their third goal. Hamish blocks out weekend. Lewis with a 50 on Rex goes right towards neck and Killian get a save. He does. Crispy looking for a shot gets saved by Killian. Goes out to the side. And there's the just the pressure from Resurrection just starting to crumbling a little bit more for CK. Yeah, 100%. That pressure is so abrupt. It's so amazing. You don't expect anything else from a team that is out for blood and is out for just just to win. They don't want they don't they want to shut down every opportunity. That's a lovely shot, but it's a lovely save for Melty Crispy. Very, very close with 30 seconds left. CK needs something. They need something now. But right now, they don't have the clinicality. They don't have the kill shots. They don't have it in them this game. But first game's always a jitter game, being on the stream, being in the lower bracket in playoffs. You get one shot, you get one opportunity. And if it's not happening, then it's not going to go. That's Lewis with another save. And the game is going to get closed out 2-0 to Resurrection. Yeah, you know, that, that's, a very that's a very good first game for Resurrection. You know, 2-0 two, uh, two up, keep, keeping the pressure. You know, not, not really letting go of the... Uh... Letting go of the... Oh, I'm losing the word. Letting go of the pressure. Let, yeah, that's def, yeah, <laughs> that's the word I wanted. You know, it, it's going to be very tough for CK. If, you, if you're in CK's situation here, what, what do you think you say to your team in this minute you have while we wait to go into the second game? I mean, what I'd be saying is I'd be, don't panic. Just clear comms. What you need to do. Focus on rotates, focus on getting these ball touches, playing it forward, catching catching uh, Resurrect off guard. More demos as well. Five demos to three. It's made a difference this game, you know. Just make sure you're, you're, you're ready in there. Make sure you've always got someone there to cover if you make a mistake and you should be okay. And Resurrect, you know, what you say to them is just keep doing what you're doing. That pressure, those demos, those clinical demos is what you need. And it's working out well for them. You know, it's just not what you'd want to see for CK who want to see win. I mean, people want CK to win and this isn't going to be good for them. But game two is about to get underway. Three, two, one. The countdown starts now. Kickoff goes Pretty even kick off there. Melty Crispy tries to go for something. Doesn't get it. Hamish now with an early shot. That's a lovely shot from Hamish. Top bins. Nobody is saving that. And it's now 1-0 in 6 seconds. Yeah, just an unfortunate kickoff from CK. You know, nobody on the ball after the kickoff. The cheat didn't really work as they wanted to. 
And just Hamish with a nice top right bins, not really saving that off a kick off. I know he probably is what, 12th boost in his tank at that point. Just an unfortunate situation for CK and definitely not a way you want to start game two after losing his first game. You see this weekend not. passes the Rex. Rex looking for a shot. Lewis, crucial save. Killing, looking to keep up some pressure, gets a soft touch. Rex try weekend tries to go for a redirect, doesn't really go the way he wants. And just going to keep up the pressure for CK. Lovely pressure. It's what you want to see. Lovely touch to middle. Will there be an opportunity? Kyle, we have a shot. It's hit the crossbar. Wind, you need to be scoring them. It was an open net. And they are the hardest to score. That is a sitter that could have been the tide turning opportunity. But uh, Kyle not letting the opportunity pass off the backboard. Rex now. Rex with a lovely touch. Could be in. Hits the crossbar. Hamish now. Hamish. Nope, it's now Lewis. Lewis on the ball. Four minutes left. Lovely opportunity. Kyle jumping a little bit prematurely there. Maybe panicking a bit. That's wind. Hamish with a lovely save. And the pressure is now flipped. And it's Melty Crispy getting the second goal. And we're back to seeing 2-0. Yeah, you know, CK having plenty of opportunities there to score, you know, after missing that open net from weekend. It is a little unfortunate. It's not something you really want to be seeing when you're down one, uh, missing an open net. But we've all been there. It happens. You know, if CK can keep up the pressure that they just had after, just had before they got scored on and actually score that opportunity, multiple opportunities they had, they're looking very good in game two. Couldn't agree more. I actually couldn't agree more with that statement. This game is currently looking already quite done and dusted. The series is looking pretty, pretty over as it stands because CK just aren't able to fabricate any opportunities. You know, they're getting cut off at all corners there. Melty Crispy on the ball now. Lovely boom. Gives the team time to refigure, refigure their rotations out. And, you know, they're getting stuck to their sides. They're getting stuck to the corners. Not what you want. Lewis! No flip. That would have been a lovely opportunity. And Sir Kyle now pushing the ball forward, trying to get something. And Toxo, uh, who do you think is going to take this game respectively to both teams? You, you know, it's it's only halfway through the game. You can't really say a team's already taken this. You know, in Rocket League, you can score eight goals in one minute. Uh, uh, we got five in one minute yesterday. So it's it's definitely not over for CK. Uh, you know, they, they're looking good with the pressure. You just have to start making these passing plays to get this opportunity to get their goals. And uh, that's yeah. something you don't really want to see from Killian. You know, getting awkward in the corner, not really getting the best of touch. Melty Crispy pops it mid for Lewis. Lewis looking for a second double tap, can't get it. Hamish hits it to the corner. I think he wanted a shot. Melty Crispy looking to pass it back mid. Killian tries to pass it out the Rex, gets blocked by Lewis. Weekend. Up in the air, looking for a double tap on Hamish. Hamish reads it like like he should. Lovely read from Hamish there. You see ball getting cleared away. Rex and Melty. 50. Hamish with the read. Kyle up. The aggression. You, are start, you can notice that CK is starting to get a little bit restless. They know they've got nothing to lose here. They know this is do or die. They don't want to face a double overtime. So they're starting to get relentless with their attacks. They're going all out, guns blazing, and we're starting to see some results. We're starting to see them break into their half. But Lewis, an answer. We can now getting a clear away. Crispy, bit of a shot, but Rex will be there to read it. You know, with just shy of 90 seconds left, they really need to start pushing the aggression up more. They need to start seeing a little bit more offense. They need to start fabricating some shots, fabricating some passes and some opportunities and they might be able to do something big. But Toxo, you notice that Resurrect, they're staying very composed in defense. You know, they're not making many mistakes and their rotations are quite fluid at the moment. And that's probably why they're doing so well and keeping the defense and keeping their entire gameplay flowing quite well. Yeah, they're just, you know, they have these good rotations, you know, they're taking these wide rotations so they don't really get second man cut off. On resurrection side and you know resurrection are just going off ck's uh, mistakes you know missing shots it leaves uh, an opening for them to take a shot and, you know with with the uh, ck having such close rotations if they accidentally mess up 
a singular touch, you know, it's going to be straight into a counter attack. And if you're not fast enough, you're going to get punished and scored on. And Resurrection are doing very well of fighting these little gaps that they need to. 100%. 10 seconds left. And it's the same story as last game. They have no real structure in their offensive attack. They are really trying to get anything, a consolation goal, but it doesn't come to play. And we now see Resurrection at a double match point. Yeah, you know, it's it's now match point for Resurrection. Uh, I'm interested to see if uh, CK will take a timeout. Uh, they ha Yeah, as I say that, they both take a timeout. So they, after this one minute of scoreboard, they will have two minutes to talk to their team. If, if I was CK here, I I think their main issue right now is they're going for too many aerial plays. I think they should take some ground 50s. What do you think? I mean, I don't disagree with what you're saying, but then at the same time, they saw a lot of success when they were in the air. They were managing to get that ball out. Maybe it's just the fact that they got it out and then it just cleared. But at the same time, they can't, if it's not broke, don't fix it, but I also agree. Low 50s, any 50s on ground would help them. I mean, anything would help them. At the fact they are 2-0 down in series in both games, they've lost 2-0 at this point. I mean, Resurrect, they're having a good game. Resurrect, they're playing very well. And Resurrect, I don't think they need to change much at all, really. Yeah, you know, now it's one minute on the clock for uh, CK. You know, do you reckon they're having... Kind of a mental problem what, what do you what do you think their mentals are right now well i mean if i was ck i would i would hopefully i would hope that they would have a level head as um you know having a poor mental in this current state in this current flow of the game will ultimately cause them to lose but i mean they have to stay quite hopeful um you know there's not much more to say except for if they have that poor mental, they will fall in this last game. But if they keep their mental afloat somehow, if they have a coach maybe to help them out, then, you know, maybe they'll be okay. Yeah, I, I kind of agree. You know, I'm pretty, pretty sure Killian has a nice little mental, has a good mental. So I think he's going to be like telling his team, take it calm. Let's play some normal Rocket League, get some passes in and just ball possession you know they they keep just grabbing the ball and lobbing it towards resurrection it's not really making too much unless resurrection are making are gonna make a mistake which they haven't been just lobbing the ball isn't gonna really help you yeah i agree i mean they're not really uh just lobbing the ball away isn't gonna give them any structure they look they're, they're lobbing the ball away probably to buy themselves time and it's causing them to also lose their own time because they're giving the opponents time to catch the ball because there's no real threat after the play. And that's maybe what they need to work on. They need to get that threat up. They need to be more intimidating on this field. As as we've both said, demos will be the biggest way to in, in fact show that. And they are asking how much time is left in their timeout. I didn't have a time to go in. I, I, I do. And uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, I can pull, up the, pull it up on my phone. Seven to what? Well, he knows it's two minutes or so seven seconds would probably be the most. <laughs> like, it's not going to be seven minutes on a two-minute time. Yeah, you never know. Could have messed up. But True. match point, resurrection. Game three. We're hoping it's not an early exit. Nice kickoff. Sir Kyle now on the ball. Oh, lovely touch there to the middle, but does nothing happens because Rex can't get there. Lewis overcommits a bit, but it's all right because Melty Crispy's there to recover. That's what they're doing perfectly. They will always have a man there to recover. Nice demo. But Sir Kyle now getting the play out. Sir Kyle, Hamish now, 50. Lewis tries to get a touch, doesn't get the touch. Now, Rex. Nothing big. Melty Crispy, bit of a missed touch, could be a goal. That's where he came with a shot. And it's the first goal for CK. And they're ahead now. Yeah, you know, just CK playing a bit aggressive at the start and making Resurrection overcome. I think they had about three double commits so far in this, I don't know, minute. Uh, 30 seconds, actually, you know. 
TK coming out of the gates. This is, I believe, their first goal of the series. And uh, it's, looking, it's looking promising. You know, taking early advantage is going to what you need to do in uh, Game 3. So you say this, CK are kind of in a defensive issue. Weekend tries to get it out. Lewis with a shot, played by Killian. And the Resurrection is starting to build some pressure. Yeah, Resurrection. They're building pressure, but it's not really... It's more of an empty threat at this point, because while CK have been uh, sort of panicking, they've recovered it nicely. They're getting out of their half now. That's a backboard, and it's a lovely touch. Multi Crispy's there. Will this go to Hamish? No, it won't, because Hamish goes for a demo. Oh, it's a bit of a mis mis miscommunication there from Hamish and and Melty Crispy, but it goes across the net. That's not what you want to do, Kyle. You're going to want to have to play that pretty nicely to the corner. Doesn't come to light. There is a bit of panicking there from CK, but it's dealt with easily. Dealt with nicely, Sir Kyle. Lovely 50 into the corner. And touch to middle. Hamish there. Who's going to go up for this ball now? Nobody. It's going to be an empty ball. It's going to be an empty touch for Rex to clear the ball away. And with three minutes left on the clock, Toxo, this is looking a lot more promising for CK now. Maybe it's just the placebo of the two-minute timeout, though. Yeah, you know, CK looking like the rotations are a little bit smoother. You know, last time, last couple, two games, they've had issues with their rotations, you know, being a little bit close. Now they're playing it safe, always having that third man. So, you know, if you're, if when he gets beat, you know, you are have somebody back. So you're not really getting punished anymore. And it's working very well for CK. 100% it's working very well. Shot goes off, but it's a lovely save. Sir Kyle is up now. Now that is the arrows that you probably shouldn't go for. Full of a lot of empty confidence. <gasps> Lewis goes for a reset. And it's an open net. Melty Crispy takes the open net and shoots it. In an impossible angle to save, and it's now equalised. It was a lovely bump there. There was no real chance of saving that there, as Sir Kyle is just caught out on a bad rotation, unfortunately. Yeah, you know, Resurrection now coming in with the, the bump and demo plays, you know. Worked very well for them in the first and second game, beating uh, CK on demos. As we get off after kickoff, Rex is trying to pop it mid for Killian. Get, Killian does get a 50. Weekend looking to keep up the pressure. Gets it around Hamish. Lewis a little awkward. Chris V to save the day. Res Rex looking for a bump on Lewis. Gets it. Weekend does pop it mid. Rex looking to pass the weekend. Weekend a little bit awkward. Weekend not kind of just doing circles uh, right now. Kind of not knowing when to go. Yeah, hundred percent. They 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 seem a bit more disorganized now. Something has changed, but it's not looking quite bad at this point. But it goes to the corner now. Kyle tries to go, but overextends. Doesn't end quite favorably as the ball gets cleared away with Lewis there. Lewis with a lovely touch shot on, but Rex with a save. Ninety seconds just off on the clock, and we're in a deadlock game. Will we see an overtime here, Toxo? Uh. By the looks of it, we we might see an overtime, but you know, CK having a lot of pressure right now and uh, Resurrection having to play defense, you know, not really finding ways. This is going to be an open net for Rex. Oh, Lewis just gets back in time. Lewis up on the wall, pops it towards CK's net, double commit from CK. Rex takes over, cool cam collective. Lewis does get demoed, Killian with the 50, and then Resurrection in an awkward spot. Yeah, the awkwardness on that back wall. Double commit there from Lewis and Hamish. Could have badly, but Lewis! The man that could, the man that popped up every game to do something, has just scored probably the game-winning goal. 2-1 on the 2-1 in the game, and it looks that it could be over with a sweep from Resurrection. Yeah, just... Just Rex not getting that first touch, and then Killian pushing the ball a little too fast. Just left an open net from Lewis after he did get his recovery. We got 20 seconds on the clock. DK does need a goal so they don't get out of playoffs and 3 0 swept twice in a row. Do you reckon they can do it? I mean, I'm not sure at this point. There's 10 seconds. 
and Resurrection look pretty comfortable. Nobody to jump on this ball. Time's running out. Lewis knows it. Lewis has just gone for a reset to waste the time. Ball gets cleared away. We are now in the zero seconds and the ball drops. Resurrection go through in the playoffs bracket and CK gets swept out now. Yeah, just a little, a little bit of unfortunate for CK, you know, Resurrection kind of just got to play the game they wanted to. They didn't really have too much pressure on them, and when they did, their uh, third man's rotations was good enough to not really, you know, drop goals. They dropped one goal in three games. Uh, CK was just uh, not as organized on their rotations, you know, they had a bit more double commits, and the Resurrection capitalized on the fact. Yeah. Yep. And it's very unfortunate to say, but it's just how Rocket League is, and it's how the cookie crumbles with this game. We have got some very interesting games coming up. We have got in about 30 minutes Solaris Esports versus. Can't pronounce that. I, uh, Corinthians. Uh, Corinthians. Corinthians. Yeah. And then after that, we have got the Unseen versus Resurrection. It's a very fortunate series that CK go out with a double sweep but good luck to Resurrection moving forward in the playoffs bracket and good luck to Corinthians and Solaris in their next